Hello everyone, I'm Phoenix from Maine and today I'm going to give you a daily recap of General Hospital for Tuesday, October 13th. But first, if you haven't done so, please take a minute to subscribe. If you have subscribed, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. You can also check out the membership. By becoming a member, you get early access to videos, exclusive videos, and more. Um, just hit that join button to see all the great perks that you get from being a member. It doesn't mean you automatically join, but you will get to see a video that tells you all the great things that happen when you're a member. And we're going to get right into this General Hospital for Tuesday, October 13th. Finn tries to convince Anna to tell Peter that she is Alex's mother. I mean, Alex might be her his mother. And Anna is afraid that if he finds out that Alex is his mother or could be his mother, it could cause Peter's spiral out of control and back to his old evil ways. So, But at the end of the episode, she does um, contact Peter and says she has something she needs to tell him. Uh, Sasha showed up to Deception. Uh, presentation strung out and um, but Lucy is able to do some hair and makeup and pull her together and during the presentation because um, they're doing this big presentation uh, her hand starts shaking and you know she's about to blow the presentation and they're trying to save it <coughs> excuse me but it, it made me think about Steffi and Bold and Beautiful about how Sasha we've seen her gradually you know, start to get depressed, start to use drugs. Now it's affecting her work. It's, effect, it's affected her love life because de clearly her decision making is, hasn't gotten any better by not telling Michael the truth. But we're actually getting an opportunity to see Sasha circle the drain and go down. So that when she does come back up, probably with Michael, that we actually get to see a, a story of how drugs has really affected her life versus Steffi who spent like four weeks and now she's done. As a buyer is ready to pull out when things don't go well, um, they put Brooklyn on the spot to say she can sing live when they can't get the audio that she brought over to work. And now Amy and Brooklyn is looking stupid. Like how are we going to pull this off um, with Amy's voice and I can't actually sing. Uh, Chase tells his mother that he cheated on Willow. She doesn't really believe him. It tells him how he good he is and he's like, can you talk to Finn about something he was saying? Um, and she's like, no, you know, Finn's mad at me. Um, his father getting with someone who was his own age. And ding, ding, ding. That tells you right there. She and Finn were the same age, which means Chase is definitely his son. Point blank period. She told Chase, don't go um, um, pushing the issue, just leave Finn alone. She knows because this secret's probably going to come out when Anna and Finn are about to get married. He's going to find out Chase is actually his son, not his brother. Uh, Britt decides to personally test Maxie's baby for deformities or any type of um, issues they may have in the future. And she becomes witness to Maxie and Peter getting engaged when Maxie pretty much tells Peter, just like Sharon did to Ray, um, I love you, we should get married, so um, let's do this. And he's like super excited. Ryan won't budge until he wants able to get a divorce no matter what. She tries to convince him by saying, hey, I'll cut you in on the money. And he's like, I don't care, you know. Your brother's life is on the line. I'm going to mail this letter if you don't bring me these divorce papers. Which, to me, like Ava's a con artist. Why doesn't Ava just go to the nearest computer and fake some divorce papers? If Ryan's true to his word, then um, he'll give her the letter and he has fake divorce papers. And he'll just have to be mad. Uh, let me see. Um, but, so far, they just have Ava shaking in her boots. Um, let me see where we're at. Meanwhile, Julian convinces Nicholas the only way to keep Ava from Ryan is to seem uninterested. He says that he tells Nicholas that Ryan is only, Ava's only going to see Ryan because she thinks it's getting to Nicholas. And um, if you act like you're not interested, then um, she'll leave Ryan alone. So Nicholas falls for it. So when Ava comes to uh, Julian's bar, uh, Nicholas kind of blows her off and she's like, what's wrong with him? And Julian's like, mm. 
<laughs> Jax can't understand why Nina feels sorry for now. Uh, Nina overhears um, Julian saying, you can put her in a pond box <laughs> anywhere. I don't care about her. You know, you know she can be an unmarked grave for all I care. So Nina's like, no, you can't do that. She was a person and she had all these problems and she didn't have a mother. <laughs> and so I'll take care of all her funeral costs. So Nina volunteers to give her a proper burial. So this episode was basically all of General Hospital's B storylines. All of the storylines that had basically been secondary. That's what this episode was all about. Now I will see you in the next video. And I hope you enjoyed uh, this one. You can let me know in the comment section what you thought about this episode of General Hospital.